We'll be right back to Naming Ionic Compounds, but first a word from our sponsor. Fredco Heavy Industries. You lucky people, I am Fred R. Slick, the king of bling, the champion of cheap, the potentate of price, the sultan of sell. Here with another great offering from Fredco Heavy Industries. Heavy. Coming to you to share our good fortune with a limited time, one time offer. Due to Fredco Heavy Industries buying power, we were able to purchase rights to the entire periodic table. Heavy, dude. And you too can buy an element. Just think, your neighbors may have an RV, a boat, a second house in the mountains, but you can have an entire element all to yourselves. So hurry up, the next 300 callers will have a chance at buying their very own element for low monthly payments, plus shipping tax and handling charges. And you too can enjoy the prestige of having your own element on the periodic table. Send in your low denomination, unmarked, non-sequential bills to Fredco Heavy Industries right away. Heavy. While you scramble for your wallets, let's take a look at anions and cations. First of all, monatomic ions, or one atom ions. The positive ones have lost at least one electron, and they're called cations. The negative ones have gained an electron from somewhere. These are anions. Okay, how do we name these things, and what are their symbols? Cations keep their names such as the sodium ion. Another example would be the barium ion. The ion symbols are the element symbol plus a superscript following it with its charge. So you can see plus one, plus two. Calcium ion would be plus two. Another example would be lithium with its positive one charge or lithium ion. How about monatomic anions or negative ions? A little more complex. These lose their ending and add an IDE ending. So chlorine would lose the INE and add IDE to the end, chloride ion. Let's look at simple binary or two-part ionic compounds. Let's say we want to do combine sodium and chlorine ions. The positive ion always goes first, so the sodium ion, then the chloride ion, as far as the naming. How about putting them in one formula? What would the formula for this compound be? Well, you know this example. It's sodium chloride, NaCl. Plus one charge, negative one charge, that's neutral. So the charges cancel each other out. Charges always have to balance. Let's say you put the calcium ion together with the bromide ion. You have to have two bromides to cancel out the positive two calcium. So you can have one positive two calcium with two bromides. So there you have it. Calcium bromide is CaBr2. Let's take a quick look at polyatomic ions. These are ions that have the, more than one atom. The one common positive or cation is ammonium, NH4 with a plus one. Nitrate, negative one, NO3, negative one charge. Carbonate is another common one, CO3, negative two. Let's look at how we would name and write a formula for the sodium ion combined with the nitrate ion. So it's sodium nitrate, simple enough. Let's look at the charges. You have one positive one charge, one negative one charge. Those cancel out, so they are neutral. 
and the formula can simply be NaNO3, sodium nitrate. Okay, that worked out simply enough. Let's look at hooking up another cation with nitrate, calcium and nitrate. Calcium ions plus two, nitrate is still negative one. So you have to have two of the nitrates to make this combination neutral. So the one positive two and two negative ones cancel out. So it's calcium nitrate, Ca with the parentheses around the NO3 with a subscript 2, calcium nitrate. Subscripts do not affect the naming for these ionic compounds. Well, that's a real quick treatment of the simplest forms of ionic nomenclature. But what if there was somewhere where you could buy an element? And here's a few suggestions Fred R. Slick might make as to who might buy an element and why. Reason number one. Fredco Heavy Industries would snap up francium. Reason number two. The peanut butter industry would be all over lead. Reason number three. Travel agents would be clamoring for copper. See you later. And finally, mercifully, reason number four. Undertakers would be fighting it out for, you got it, barium. That's some kind of piece of furniture, isn't it? We'll leave Fred to think deep thoughts, but let's review. Positive ions are cations. They have lost one or more electrons. Negative ions are anions, and they have gained at least one electron. Cations keep their names, add ion. Anions drop their endings and add IDE, as in chloride. Two-part binary compounds. Cations come first, charges must cancel out to zero, and subscripts are used if you need more than one ion to balance. Polyatomic ions use parentheses to indicate how many of the polyatomic ions you need if it's more than one. Let's try a few of these. I want you to see about naming these and what their formulas would be when you balance the charges. Let's see how these would go. The plus two calcium has to have two chlorides to balance its positive two, so CaCl2. You have to have two sodiums for the one sulfate, Na2SO4. Magnesium needs two nitrates, so you have to use a parenthesis there. Barium and oxide balance out just fine, one to one. 